OnePlus 5T is now official, and you can bet that we've been playing with it for a while. The Samsung Galaxy S9 benchmarks bring some more concerns to the table, and it seems that the iPhone X inventories are normalizing more and more. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, it is tough covering rumors of a phone that I've been using for the past week, but that's the name of the game. This is Pocketnow Daily. The official news today have to do with deals. T-Mobile BOGO deals are back, and this time they're hot. We're talking about the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, in addition to high-tier Android phones like the Samsung Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, and pretty much every single LG high-end smartphone. And in the case of Metro PCS, you even get a year of Amazon Prime. You can learn more about everything in the link in the description. Now let's talk about the iPhone X. For those of you that have been trying to get the phone lately, inventories have been normalizing. We hear that people are already being notified that their device is not going to take four weeks anymore, instead just two. And we've actually come across a couple of stores here in New York that have inventory available in the store. Uh, but uh, yeah, so things are normalizing. It seems that you'll be able to get your phone soon. Now, one company that has finally figured out is Google. For those of you that have been wanting to get every single variant of the Google Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL, it is now pretty much available online at the Google Store. We've been trying to get devices like the Panda variant and others, and uh, yeah, these are now available to everybody, which is great. Hopefully that'll counterrest the whole, you know, complaints of the display on the Google Pixel 2 XL. We'll see. Now let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy S9. If you remember yesterday, we talked about benchmarks of the S9 Plus, where we were concerned of four gigabytes of RAM in the spec sheet, which doesn't make sense when you get six gigabytes on the Galaxy Note 8. But as it turns out, we've got more benchmarks today, and these also point to four gigabytes of RAM. So unless something is going to go on here with processing or software, we really want to know what Samsung is thinking if this is true, if we're just getting four gigabytes. Barely some of that is available currently on the Galaxy S8. We'll see. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with the OnePlus 5T. Our hands-on video is already live. We just came back from the event, and that's the reason why this video is going up so late. It's awesome. I have a lot of great first impressions of the OnePlus 5T, mainly with everything that's been refined. I love the display. I love what I've seen from the camera. I've posted some of these pictures on my Instagram today. Uh, I feel that OnePlus is going in the right direction with the smartphone, uh, but obviously this is my opinion and you already saw my first impressions. We would love to know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think about the OnePlus 5T? Do you think that it's worth it or not? In my case, oh my god, if you smash an iPhone 10 right now, what it'll cost you to fix that iPhone 10 is pretty much the price of the OnePlus 5T and you're getting an awesome smartphone, so I would give the OnePlus 5T a try. Leave us a comment down below, let us know what you think. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on Pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel by hitting this button up here. You can watch yesterday's Pocketnow Daily up here and our thoughts on the OnePlus 5T down here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram, and Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.